Hey guys, welcome to the first ever episode on the Traveling Fisherman's Channel. Today we've got a few hours uh, on Gillhead, just outside of Boones on Windermere. We're going to try some fly fishing for some rainbow trout, brown trout, hopefully. If we can get onto one, that would be great. Uh, but so far, we're going to set up our rod and get into it, see what we can catch. up my rod I'm running a six weight max catch rod with intermediate fly line and then I've got nine pound uh, leader line and then I've just put on this olive olive apps it's been working pretty well for me the last few times I've been out so we're gonna try it and see if we can entice anything to come to it. Right, first cast, here we go. Let's see what we can find on it. Hopefully something, that'll be good. Off to a good start if we do. Just go a short cast. Work our way through, go short, fan around. Hopefully find something. It is a cold, frosty morning, so I'm not sure what to expect. Just do a slow retrieve to start with. So Gillard is a water water owned by Windermere Ambleside Angling Association. They have quite a few places, like little, oh, little tarns and different spots, different sorts of fishing. They've got trout, they've got carp, all sorts. Um, Now you can either pay a membership with them for a year or they do day permits on certain locations. Some of them they only offer to members. Uh, I think day tickets for Gillhead are, I think it's about £30. for a day uh, so it's not too bad it's quite a good spot and if you hook onto some fish they're usually of really really good size all right we're gonna finish off this like bring this one in and then we're gonna switch to a different spot just behind us and see how we go over there we've had no luck here we're going to try this spot, see if we can manage to find anything here. I might go down in this little bit here, get that there. See if we can manage to bring anything out over here. Bit deeper over here, it's a deeper drop, dropped off right at the bank and not a little bit further out, which is probably helpful. It's so icy, still on the ground, and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon.
lots of weeds along this area, which is making it quite difficult. I wasn't recording, but we've got the first fish on as I've just changed to a yellow dancer. A bit brighter of colors and first cast, bang, we've got it. Absolutely perfect, slow retrieve. And he's coming in very slowly. He is a monster. And by the looks of him, he's a brown trout. Absolute monster. Oh no, he's a rainbow. He is a rainbow. He looked like a brown for a minute. Monster rainbow. Make sure my net's ready. That is a monster rainbow. Oh, he's not quite ready. I thought he came off. As I hooked him, I got a tangle in my fly line. As I hooked him, I thought he came off because there was no tension on it. Oh, he barely fits in my net. <laughs> oh, definitely need to get a bigger net. Yeah, there we go, try again. And then up alongside here. He's in, he's in, he is in. Oh, 
that is my biggest rainbow trout ever. That is my PB. Oh, absolute beautiful fish. By far my biggest and best rainbow trout and first rainbow trout of 2024. And the first rainbow trout on the TNF YouTube channel. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get him back in. All right, first fish on the board. Took a while to get into it. And a fair few flies went through to find out what is going to work. But now that we've found out, let's try and catch another. That's the short cast out. Oh, I'm st stoked with that. That is such a good fish. And to kick off 2024 with a fish like that, big things are coming. Now on that last one, I just did a very, very slow retrieve. And he took it. We're just gonna take our time. Do a short cast. A few bit longer. Work our way through these weeds here. I never thought to pick up the yellow dancer today, but on a win winter day, frosty cold the water's dead still you can't go wrong with a good yellow dancer oh, oh came off that was a good fish he took that so quick oh he took my yellow dancer oh no the lure that's been doing the trick is now gone. And I don't think I have another one. I do not. I'll try. Oh, I don't know now. I'll try this one. Don't know if it'll work, but it's similar sort of pattern, similar style. We can only hope that it works. That was a big fish. I don't know if he managed to like scrape it on something and maybe pull it off or what happened, but. That was a big fish. All right, I'll put this one on. Make sure he's got on there real well. I can't pull that off, so. Neither should they. Right, let's try again. Now this is very similar, but the only difference is it's got pink in it. So, will the pink be enough to throw them away? Or will they still take it? Be good if I can catch that fish that just had it get my yellow dancer back. I'll have to get some more of them. Tangled around weeds. 
I'll have to get more of them now that I know they are unreal. Anyway, let's try this one, see how we go. Nothing on first cast. I'm gonna fan around, do a cast down here now. Stuck in the weeds. Move over here where there's no weeds. Uh, thought we had him then. A couple of little short cast in towards the bank. feel like this little bit of pink on this is going to make a hell of a difference to whether something bites or not. to catch one and we lost one and we lost the fly the yellow dancer which will be put back in the box when I order some I'll be ordering more than one this time um, thanks to that yellow dancer we managed to catch one and save the blank which is very appreciated uh, all in saying that the fish we did catch was quite big I don't know the exact weight, I did not weigh it. I don't like to keep fish out of the water too long if I don't have to. Uh, in saying that, I might need a bigger net because it almost did not fit in the net. So, but we've had a great day. Relaxing day, very quiet. Not many people here. There was only three people here for the day and I think they only caught two or three fish all up out of the both of them they were fishing together so as the first episode and the first ever video on traveling fisherman's channel I'm glad we've had a good day and we've caught at least one fish and hopefully more to come in 2024 and hopefully some new PBs better fishing and some good people around us so in saying that thank you for watching hopefully I see you again make sure you like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video see you later